Meat bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Farming Routes here on Borderlands the pre-sequel. This is the series where I take you map by map and show you guys the best route to take in order to pick up every single chest in that map as well as farm any bosses uh, for their legendary or unique weapons or items and uh, just anything else that you might need to know within the map. So today we're going to be doing sub-level 13. This is quite a small map so it may not take very long at all but it needs covering anyway. So once you enter sub-level 13 you want to come down this elevator right here. It's quite a long one so uh, once you get out run through. There's a load of torques in this area and things like that but uh, just ignore them right to the end. Head down the uh, little drop pipe to the right hand side and into this vent right here. On the right hand side in this vent there is a uh, little treasure room in here with a uh, small dial chest, a load of ammo crates and a big red dial chest as well. They do have some really good loot in them sometimes so make sure you open that while you're in this area. Load up on ammo, if you get nothing good turn around and head on out of here because you'll get attacked by a load of torques. Uh, after that just keep progressing through the vents till you come to this area here. We'll climb this ladder all the way up and then head right, jump over and then head to your left hand side through here and uh, into this next vent system. Before you go left in the vest vent system though, turn right because there is a uh, little dial chest right there hidden. Uh, but after that, run right through to the left and then drop down into this room here and out into the open. And there are three chests in this room. There's one on the left hand side on a balcony. There's one on the right hand side on a balcony. These are both small dial chests, so uh, pick them up. They don't always contain very good loot, but uh, they're good for the grinder anyway. And then after that, head into the middle right at the back behind these pipes uh, because there is a quite well hidden big red dial chest as well. So uh, they are really good chests, recommend getting them. After that, drop out and then head to the right up this hill here. Keep going all the way to the very top and right at the end uh, is a small dial chest to pick up right there. Open that up and uh, that is pretty much it for this area. You drop down and this is uh, the area where we first dropped uh, down here. But like I said at the beginning, ignore them talks at the beginning because you can pick them up at the end. But make sure you uh, actually, you know, take them on and kill them because you never know when you'll find a... Uh, a talk badass or something that uh, can drop the legendary grenade the bonus package as well so uh, yeah that is it that is ultimate farming routes like i said it's a small map sub level 13 but it needs covering anyway another talk there so keep taking them out i think there's about three in all um but uh, yeah quite a relatively small map but for a small map it's got some good loot in it really you've obviously got these guys who uh, if you can get a badass to spawn um, or a destroyer, you can uh, get the chance for the legendary bonus package grenade mod. Uh, there's no major bosses on here, uh, on this map at all, but two big red dial chests is pretty generous for uh, for a small map like this. So it's definitely worth uh, doing this route a few times and seeing if you can get yourself some good loot. And uh, there's quite a lot of little dial chests to pick up as well. So uh, yeah, that is sub-level 13 anyway. After that, just head back up the elevator and uh, back into the Titan Industrial Facility. So there you go, guys. Anyway, that is another episode of Best, uh, sorry, Ultimate Farming Roots here on Borderlands Pre-Sequel. That is sub-level 13. And uh, after that, we're going to head to the Titan Robot Production Plant for the next episode. So I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next one.